Oh, we're home. Oh, it's our house. Yeah. Home. Look at our beautiful house. It's the new house. Look at this house. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is solid. That is solid. Welcome to the house. Oh, you, yeah, so you, were, you weren't talking. You weren't here when I was doing that. I was like, this is gonna be hard to go through. <laughs> what is this? That came out of Someone the vent when I turned it on in. once. Someone tracked in a little leaf. How dare they? How dare they? All right, what's happening here? We have to tape the ceiling, but we didn't bring a step ladder, which we have two of, but they are in storage, in storage right, right now. In storage. So we have to use this camping box we had for our trip to hold Jordan up. Now I think the best thing you could do is if you jump to the right after you're done taping and I move it over, you could land yes. back on it. I'll die. What if you stand there and I take part of the roll and I walk all the way over to here and then you slowly move as I hold it up here? That could actually work. This thing was on wheels. Look at that. <laughs> now you're gonna have to shimmy down, move it over, then get back up. I'll get the longer pieces, don't worry. I'm just no, gonna use Let me grab this side. No, you just hold that. That's it. This is gonna fall down. It's going to, this is not gonna work. So he's trying to take it the length of the room. Well, he's going over the windowsill, but there's no way either of us are gonna be able to get into the middle of this because this doesn't stick very well on the, uh, on the ceiling. Oh my goodness. You dropped oh it. Oh my goodness. In the paint. You dropped it in the paint, Spencer. There we go. This is perfect. I'm gonna stick it on. Oh, oh. What's that? oh, that was a crack. Jordan. Jordan. It's going a little faster. Oh, it is. It's not. Oh, now it's going significantly slower. That's because we have this much crap on there. I told you that method was gonna work with the tape. Look at that line. It's a little loose up there. Hey, but that point was only stopped with the tape. That's when it got all loose. That's true. That's true, Scott. It looks like there was a snap on that box. A what? There was a snap on the box. He inched a little bit too close to the center. And he was good for a fair bit on there. And then, yeah. I feel so creative with this focus. No, you? Yeah, I'm like. Isn't it so easy to make a really cool looking shot? Yeah, because Zenith's like. Because then everybody, everybody's like, oh, you're, you're such a great, you're such a great photographer or filmer. And it's like, no, I just focus and then point the camera. And then once it gets really crisp and you can get to like see every, oh, wait, I can't do it. I'm not as good as you, Dan, I'm sorry. Mm. Look at you, Dan. What am I most excited for with the new house? It's a brand new chapter and we're going to make this place our own. Right now, we're working on it, we're designing it the way we want it so that it has a nice feel and it doesn't just feel like another boring old house. It's actually something unique that we crafted. The possibilities of moving into a house are very exciting. A, we don't have people around us. We can stomp around as long as we want. Just stomp, stomp, stomp. Refine content and really kind of film things in a different way. Um, obviously right here you kind of have a different look of things. B, we can bring little Saris over here. Who doesn't like a cute little puppy running around too? I'd like to have a puppy here. I think a lot of us were very unsure about what we were going to do. But uh, now that it's happening and we're just kind of surrendering to it and letting it happen, it's awesome. It's, I think it's the best it's ever been. Using more of the DSLRs and our 4K Blackmagic cam, I definitely want to use in far more content than we ever have before. Really excited to do that because I think it looks incredible. I'm glad we're in a house. This is something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. A bit more homey, less assholes beneath us. Guys, I, my quota of bald people has gone down about 50%. I'm excited. Word of the day. The word of the day, and I'm sure everybody said it over and over again, is excited. We're excited. I'm most excited, oh, I heard everybody else was saying excited, so I'm gonna try and use a different word. It's great to be excited to come to work, and that's what I love about this job, is I'm constantly happy when I wake up and excited for, I said excited again. <sighs> Um, there, I have to have a better vocabulary than this. I'm really excited to be able to become a regular at some of these spots, so we'll kind of walk in and be like, hey, yeah, how's it going, you? How's that coffee treating you? How's it going? And then, you know, they'll forget us for next time. But, you know, we'll work towards that goal. House is awesome. It, when we got it, it was just a big blank white canvas. Uh, 
and we quickly got to painting. We're gonna do, well actually we're currently doing the, the, the accent wall with all the reclaimed wood. I'm cutting that right now. Uh, I love doing that stuff, that's my favorite. I'm not any good at it, but I'm getting better. Practice makes perfect. Since we were in quite the big office, it is quite the downsize, and it's gonna take a little bit of time to get all smoothed in and sorted out and stuff like that, but we're gonna get back into content as soon as we possibly can, and everyone's pumped. It's, it's gonna be sweet. I, I can't stop saying that because legitimately, I am very excited for this, even though I'm not like bouncing all over the place doing some kind of freaky maneuvers. So currently, I'm the only one here right now that are getting wood. I painted this wall a little bit yellow. We're gonna be painting down to the ground on all three of these. There's gonna be some more yellow on that wall, and then this is gonna be all wood. It's gonna be real nice looking. It's starting to come together. Me and Joe went to the wood store to get the wood for that wall. Look at that. And Initially, we we're gonna try and do half wall on the rest of this as well, but that didn't really work out. It was there was just not enough good wood to do so. And we got some good and wood it was like, here. Whatever, we'll just make that wall just a complete accent wall. So it's just gonna be a wooden accent wall. So this will all be wooden. I finished painting this wall completely honey locust yellow, and that wall got finished as well. And I think they look pretty good. It's like a little beehive in here. Now what are you working on, Joe? We are tiling the wall. Ooh. So we're gonna do this cool little brush, copper, whatever this is. It's like our sky, and then we got this wood, wood green tile over here. We're gonna make like a mountain range out of that. Got some other ideas too, but we'll see. We're gonna figure out how to get this on the wall. <laughs> oh no! So after we're done painting this wall dark gray, and we're gonna cover that in wood. Are we just gonna start moving stuff in? Yeah, this room will be ready after we get the walls done, and then yeah, moving stuff in is the, I definitely wanted to get the bullpen done first. So the wood's gonna be the biggest project out of everything, but it's gonna look super cool, so definitely yeah. wanna spend the time on that to make it look. This place cool. already looks better. Cause like, me and uh, me and Joe went to the, went to this reclaimed wood place. These guys. So let's see here. Front range timber. Ooh, that was perfect timing too. I focused right on it. That's a nice looking hat too. Oh yeah. I like those trucker crazy. hats. Complimentary. Yeah, Ooh, I mean when you bought all that wood. Yeah, when you bought that much wood, they better. I was eyeballing him, he's like, you guys want some free merch? It's like, hell yeah, we I'm do. I'm shocked you have merch at a wood store. Yeah, <laughs> random. Yeah. But we sat there and we laid out the entire thing all along the ground because they're like, okay, so basically what you do is just kind of lay out all the square footage you need. We laid it out. We laid it out. Oh yeah. They're, I, I kind of just want to go up there and hang out. They're an awesome group of dudes. Yeah. So they were saying this is from uh, tobacco barns from like uh, Tennessee down to Kentucky. Oh, wow. Um, and so what they do is they get the wood and then they, they reshape it. So these are actually like, it's, it's not all gnarly, you know? Yeah. On the edges where you want it to like sink up and be all deep. The thing that worries me the most about this house is the basement. It's a pretty generally accepted thing in this household. It, the, the basement's spooky. The basement's a little spooky. Um, I went down there the other night and we keep, we keep talking about how spooky the basement is, but I went down there the other night just to like kind of look around and turn on the light and go through there and I went down there with my flashlight and both uh, both of the little creepy side doors were open and I was so spooked that I ended up just walking right back up and like nope. The basement in this house is terrifying. The cellar like just close your eyes and picture this. You're walking down creaky wooden stairs and you go to this wooden door and you open it it's like Yeah the one thing we're gonna have to conquer is that basement. I don't know what's going on down there, but uh, not getting a good vibe from it. Basement is creepy, it's dark, it smells weird, it has rooms, it has a newspaper from like 1982, it's, it's a really weird spot. I don't know, that basement's fucking creepy, man. I don't know what's down there, I... It's literally the stuff out of a horror movie. And I don't even, like, I'm not afraid of ghosts or anything, like, that's not a, a fear that I have or... <laughs> But it is still really spooky. It's spooky. I just, I can't help but be spooked by that place. And you go in the basement and it's just cement and silence. There's like no noise down there whatsoever. It's just dead silent. It's a little too alive. It's as if we have a another roommate or something. That'll probably be the room I spend the least amount of time in. Um, either that or I'll just face my fear and go down there and scrub it clean. I think that might help it be a little less spooky. Probably not. At night it's still going to be spooky. It's spooky looking down there. And it's dark and I, I don't care how old I am, I'm scared of the dark because I have no idea what's in front of me. I hear a lot of breathing, a lot of tapping. 
kind of like padded footsteps, like it's like a creature or something, not necessarily a human. So creepy, so, so, so creepy. I'm such a chicken shit, but seriously, that basement is terrifying. <laughs> So it's day number three of our construction, renovation, office, refurbishing, I don't even know what we're doing right now, but Joe and I went out, got a bunch of reclaimed wood, so now we need to get it all on this wall here, which is gonna require some tools and some extra stuff. We also need to get some other stuff for this, so we're gonna take a trip to Home Depot. Ready to go, Joe? Yeah. Are we gonna get more Christmas lights? Oh shit, Joe, the bathroom door is closed. Did you christen it? I almost did, but then I decided not to. Oh, okay. I, I saw it <laughs> closed and I was just did like, you, okay. Wait, you have to show them what you got. Oh, so bossel with mm. olive oil and aloe vera. Well, we definitely need that. We're really moving up in the world, you guys. All right. Well, it smells good in here, so if you did christen it, congratulations. Well, we got everything we needed. Yes, we did. We did. Took the, the route of not getting the nail gun because, well, one, we don't have the room right now because I forgot you, we didn't have an air compressor, so we'd have to get an air compressor and the nail gun. So we're just gonna do some hammering. So far, moving's been pretty smooth. We did have to, you know, throw a few things in storage, so we're just kind of sorting through that. It's gonna be a big process as far as downsizing goes, like I mentioned. We've been painting everything, which I found out I like painting a lot. Not super great at it, but hey, I painted yellow walls, so you can judge me on that. I'm really excited to, to get out of the office, get back to a new space. It's been quite a while since we've had a clean slate like this before. Um, we were in the office for three years, which is insane, and then we had the, had the first two houses the first two years. The move has been going great so far. I don't want to use great. I hear everyone's using great. There should be a fuck up counter right now for how many times I fucked up this stupid interview. Going from 6,000 square feet to 1,200 square feet is a massive difference and it's really going to make us focus on keeping the stuff we actually need instead of just getting everything we can and hoarding it. Plus it'll keep us a little bit more clean too. I have shit all over my pants. Oh shit, I got stuff in my nail. But the moving process has been real good. Everything has been moved in quite fast. We've been painting real quick by putting the boards up. Joe's cutting wood. You might be able to hear him in the background. We should hopefully be moved in by next week, which would be amazing, and then we can get onto our normal schedule of videos. It's interesting to go back to a house. Um, I really like the area, and it's nice not having other businesses uh, that were bothering. I'm like the, the marketing people below us who didn't like us making noise despite it being our jobs. The move has been awesome. Everybody's super excited and happy to be starting a new chapter. And we just, every day there's like, oh, we should do this and we should do this and do this. And it's just awesome to have that feeling. I didn't tell them they couldn't crunch the numbers for whatever clients they had, except for the pounding that was happening above them while they were trying to do that. Okay, maybe it was a little distracting. I kind of get their beef. But yeah, it's cozy, it's cute. Um, I'm elated. That's the, uh a good word to, to use for my feelings. My intake of Sour Patch Watermelon has gone up an insane amount. I don't even know where this came from. We've gone to Home Depot twice and both times I've gotten a pack of it. I was eating them on the way home yesterday. I don't think I should be having them anymore. It started to taste like bubble gum to me and they're not bubble gum. It, it's starting to make me feel sick. My poo's not coming out like it should. But yeah, the move's going good at this point. It's just a matter of finishing the walls that we want to look cool, and then it's just gonna be moving in the stuff and getting a couple new couches. Is it flush? It's flush. One small. We need your plug. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I say move in a bit because if you're on the edge, see, see mine started to crack. So oh, okay. That's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one here and stagger one down here. Yeah, I'm, so gonna, I'm gonna steal one of these. Oh, good call. Old nail holes here, cause. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> oh, your punk. That went in. That's inside uh, the wall. <laughs> there we go. Come on, uh, Jordan. I feel like this is gonna fly into my face. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Goodness. Well, it, it, it's not going in, it's bending more. <laughs> oh, we're gonna rip the whole thing out getting that thing out. Well, I guess it's staying. Oh, we're bending it down. Now those eagle-eyed viewers can always see that nail. Are you gonna use this opportunity to make that classic, classic joke? Oh, oh, oh! <laughs>
while Joe makes a pretty complicated cut out in the lobby area, oh, Spencer oh steps on a sticky tile. Stuck. The original stickiness wasn't working so well towards the end. Uh, looks like most of the, oh, I don't know about that one. Oh yeah, that one's peeling off right there. Yeah, there's some, there's some peel. There's some peel happening. He and, he and peel. peel. So Dan is going through right now with some industrial grade adhesive to seal Hopefully these tiles. Hopefully it actually sticks on there. Seems like it did a pretty good job on that one. Yeah. Maybe just put a, a dot at each corner too. Yeah. And then that I'll should that just be. Time. This is looking real good though. Yeah, I'm excited. It's, I hope it, uh, the cutout for the mountain that we plan on doing turns out really well because that'll be really sweet if it works out how we're thinking it will. I'm lucky, if we're lucky this is kind of like a deadened gloss or a, you know, it's not super glossy. So the. Yeah, I think it'll look cool on camera, especially if we light it right. But yeah, we're so we're filling the top half of the wall with that. Then the bottom half is going to be this stuff all on the mountain. We have the three layers going onto the fourth one right now. It's actually really tough. What in the world happened here? Someone, Joe! Someone gave up. Did you bend a nail in? It's an accent nail. It's not an accent nail. That, oh, Didn't well, you see his tweet? He tweeted it. He tweeted I, no, it he, he's no, talking about that one up there. Uh, no. I thought I'd add another element to see how it looks. <laughs> but between we lined all the boards up with the wall so one of the two of these is off and I believe it's actually the ceiling that we lined up with yeah, look at that. because it's kinda... this looks super crooked but it's actually level so there's something that happened here that caused this the ceiling all the wood's pretty warped too yeah so that's what's making that this is gonna be the toughest cut we have because Joe has to like slope a cut so that it fits in that spot so that kind of sucks it should be good though, because after that, you know, the only complicated cuts we have. What are you doing, Steph? What? Oh, you're painting. I thought you were just like in the corner staring. No, I'm, I'm making it look straighter. <laughs> okay, thank you. So we just have to cut these bits out right here, but that should fit pretty flush. Yeah, because this one worked real well. Cut. And then uh, just going around these will be kind of an interesting thing, but it won't be too bad. I was saying Joe should make a box around this so we can open it up. And uh -huh. Close it. <laughs> make it real fancy. But you know, it's coming along. Coming along nicely. It's gonna look real good. Besides that thing right there. Besides that thing. So after several hard days of work, we have completed the wall. Look at that. Yep. That looks nice. You guys did great. You came over the weekend, worked hard. Yeah, I came by here. It took quite a bit. I actually, you know, we finished the main portion, me and Joe, and then all I had him do was finish that complicated thermostat cut over there that was rounded. Yeah. So Look at that, this. Was, that was the tough one. Look at and that cut. So then after he did that, then I could handle all the cuts because they're just straight. So I finished that side and then this side right here. This one I pre-measured the entire thing, cut through everything, and then just went took a little longer than just that. But it turned out awesome. Yeah, it looks really, really good. So now all we have to do is vacuum stuff up and start moving stuff in, because I really wanted just this room done. We're still working on this room a little bit. I'll wait to show you, because it's still in under progress. But as soon as Joe gets back, he's, on a, he's a little bit detained with a mini vacation he's got going on that he had planned for a while. And so, so Joe's out, Dan's sick, and Steph is also not feeling well. Indisposed. Indisposed, so it's just me and Spencer today, but I figured I'd update you guys on the wall. Next steps are moving in all our crap and getting some couches, and because our, our couches that we have now are definitely not gonna fit. So it's just all about moving stuff in and getting little bits and pieces to really piece this place together into what we want it to be, because I'm excited about this wall. I think it really adds a whole new level of depth and trendiness to it. Flavor. Flavor, that's what I was looking for. So we're gonna get all the stuff in here and start working finally. So we will see you guys for the great big move. <clears throat>